Reefers, welcome back to another Reef Stash video. This week, more... All right, the tank is clean. Time to open up this box and we're gonna see the corals we got from Unique Corals. When I acclimate corals, I like to pop open the box, toss them in the sump, let them sit and acclimate to the temperature of the tank for about 15 minutes. And then we do a dip just to make sure there's no pests in the corals and make sure we don't introduce any pests into the tank. So right now we're popping them open. We got, we got rainbow bubble tip anemone. We have three rainbow micromusa lords, also known as acans. Of course, they don't call them acans anymore. Unique corals, Tron chalice. Unique corals, mango hurricane. Lemon line, Ganapora. Uh, Stiggy marley, zoanthids. Hyper bam bam, zoanthids. And a Rasta torch. Cool packs. Whoa. Look at that big boy. Rasta torch. Okay, that's sweet. Looks like there's like three heads on it. I'm just dropping it in the sump and letting it float. Stiggy Marley Zoas. Rainbow Lord. Micro Musa. Lemon lime, Ganeopora. UC means unique corals. That typically means aquaculture. Another Rainbow Lord Acan. I keep saying Acan. Old school is Acan, and then they reclassified them as Micromusas. Can't get used to it. All right, and this one's Hyper Bam Bam. Super stoked about this. Rainbow Bubble Tip Anemone. Supposed to be about a three incher. Looks like a good size foot in there. I can't see it. Maybe a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Look at that big girl. All right. Here's a Tron chalice. Mango hurricane chalice. Nice. And another nice rainbow acan. Gonna give them 15 minutes to acclimate to the temperature. We'll dip them quickly for about five minutes in Coral RX and then in the tank they go. I like to put all new corals right here in the front and I give them a few days to acclimate to my lights and figure out where I wanna put each one of them. And then after a few days, I'll use some glue and mount them to the scape. All right, here's the dip. We got Core RX. We're gonna dip all the corals, but first, before we do that, we're gonna get the bubble tip anemone into the tank. Remember never to dip any anemones. That will kill them. So we're gonna just add them directly to the tank, and then we'll dip the rest of the corals. So we're gonna add the anemone, and we're gonna turn off the return pump so that the flow is low, and give the anemone a chance to get its foot placed and hope that it doesn't move. Decided to change the spot and moved it where there's a little bit of shade and I'm hoping this will be a perfect spot so it can get shade or it can get direct light. Now we're gonna add the Coral RX and we're doing 15 drops of this. And 
they're done with the dip, I'll dip them in tank water and then they go into the tank. Thank you reefers watching another reef stash video. I appreciate all of your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next update. And if you've been eyeballing the flow in this tank, click the video on screen right now and I'll show you more about it. All right, y'all, peace out.